what is going on channel it is that time of year again where we're wearing shorts and a hoodie gotta love it it's probably like 50 some degrees out here nice little breeze very comfortable and this is what you can expect the majority of the time down here in the winter in albuquerque but we're not going to be talking about winter in today's video we're going to be talking about living on the east side and why more people are choosing to move to this side of town and we're gonna break it down. We're gonna talk about amenities. We're gonna talk about two predominant neighborhoods that people are actually moving to and that we've actually helped people find houses in. So get your pen and your pad and let's get into today's video. Alrighty guys, we're back outside. And man, it's such a beautiful day that I really wanted to talk about what life is like in one of these areas that a lot more people are starting to actually notice and asking us more questions on. Because if you wanna live in a neighborhood that is a little bit more established, has all the amenities that you could possibly want and need and you want to have a shorter commute to work the east side is probably going to be where you're going to be looking when we have these conversations now if this is your first time tuning into the living in albuquerque channel guys welcome my name is eli go ahead and hit that subscribe and notification bell down at the bottom that way you guys never miss out on any videos and i say this because there is still a ton of you guys that aren't subscribed to the channel and i hate for you guys to miss on one important piece of information that can help you make that move in that transition to New Mexico. And as much as we love doing these videos, guys, in helping you with all this information, me and my team are licensed brokers here in the state of New Mexico, and we'd also love to help you out with that move. So if you are planning on moving down here, you're looking to purchase a house, you're looking to rent a house, that number popping up on the screen is our direct line, and we'd love to help you out, get on a quick Zoom call, and show you all the different options and show you what we have to offer in terms of helping you. But if you guys aren't ready, there's also a link in the description down below with the free relocation guide for you guys to download. Now, why would anybody ever consider moving to the east side? And I gotta be frank with you guys, it's not gonna be anything mystifying. It's actually gonna be because of three real reasons. Number one is gonna be the mountains. People want to live closer to the Sandia Mountains are, and are willing to pay that extra buck just to make that happen because they like all the walking trails, the natural beauty of the landscape, and they just want to be closer to that outdoor sense without losing the perks of being closer to the amenities, which is number two. They want to have a little bit more urban amenities closer to them. You have all the malls, all the shopping centers. Shoot, you have both Trader Joe's on that side of town. So if you are a Trader Joe's fan and you are diehard, because I know a lot of you guys out there are, this side of town might be something that you wanna look into. Now, the third reason is because it's still pretty affordable. There's some pockets on the east side of town that can have some pretty decent houses, not anything super luxurious or modern, but modern enough to where it was built kind of in the 90s, early 2000s, that can still appeal to the average family looking for three to four bedrooms, all under $350,000, believe it or not. So if you are curious to know which those areas are, you know where to find us and you know where to hit us up. Now let's talk about the real estate on that side of town. And I recently just had a conversation with a client that came down from San Antonio and we're looking into a neighborhood or neighborhoods on that side of town that are pretty appealing. And I was surprised to find out that some of the houses in these areas were still pretty well taken care of. And that's gonna be pretty much a trendy thing when you're looking in some of these areas that a lot of the owners are established a little bit older and they take pride in ownership of their home. Not saying that the younger people don't, but usually those old folks with a little bit more time on their hands really manicure their houses and just kind of keep them pristine. So we ran into a couple of homes on the search where it was dated, but very well taken care of. So there's that. Now, what can you expect to pay? Well, it really just depends. If you are looking in the Northeast Heights, anywhere starting price 330. If you're looking in the foothills, about 400 and above. And then four hills, which is not the foothills to so be mistaken, is gonna be half a million dollars and above. So we do have some of those clients that are looking in areas like that where the houses do get pretty expensive, but for the majority, you are gonna get a bigger lot here. You're gonna have everything from a ranch house to a rambler to a Southwest style Adobe home to something that is super mid-century modern. There's just so many styles of homes out there on the east side that 
I couldn't just really pigeonhole it to that. This is what you're gonna find on this side of town because there's just too many to, to really talk about. Now let's talk about the lifestyle, guys. The East Side offers a very diverse lifestyle, whether you're an introverted person, extroverted, or you're just both like I am. You're gonna be able to find your niche and your community on this side of town. So if you do enjoy the outdoorsy thing, hitting some hiking trails on the weekends, or even late in the evenings after work, the East Side is gonna be able to offer this to you. But if you're just like that person that wants to be out in the mix, wants to enjoy a drink after work, it's gonna be super easy for you to find a brewery or a restaurant on that side of town because they're all gonna be down the street from your house. With that being said, guys, it doesn't really matter what type of lifestyle you're looking for because you can make the best of it on this side of town because there is gonna be some pockets, let's just say your budget's not really close to about that $400,000, $450,000 mark. It's closer to around that $350,000 and we start to see that going in, it's gonna take you a little bit more inward, a little bit more urban. There is gonna be some areas that have some bigger lots that we can actually look into that will probably satisfy that itch of having some space and you know peace and quiet away from your neighbors. And then there's also some other established neighborhoods and stuff like that. But we really won't know until we get on that call, guys. And that number popping up on the screen is my direct line. And I love to hop on this Zoom call with you guys because moving, especially to a new city, is very stressful. And what we do is take away a majority of that stress for you guys because we were born and raised here, so majority of the information that we have isn't gonna be out there on the internet for you guys to search. So hearing it firsthand from us, we'd love to help you find that specific area that definitely fits your wants and needs. And talking about the two primary areas that people are actually looking to move to when it comes down to the east side, is gonna be the Northeast Heights and the Foothills. Now, two totally different monsters, which is perfect for this conversation that we just had about the lifestyle, right? Because Northeast Heights is gonna be something that maybe somebody with the family looks into because they don't wanna be super far away from the Walgreens, you know, late at night if you need something for a sick kid that just won't stop puking and maybe that's over exaggerating in TMI but just to paint the picture for you guys because I've been in that situation and I live like five minutes away from both a CVS, a Walgreens and a Walmart, two different Walmarts. So I understand the convenience that having these things around you really within minutes, it can really make a world of a difference to you and your family. So if that's super important, you don't really care about being in the mountains or whatever, then we might wanna look into the Northeast Heights and you can still find a house for around $350,000, $330,000 even. So once we get into the weeds of it, you'll start to see the value that these areas have. Now, that's also gonna come with easy access to the schools. There's not a whole ton of schools out there in the foothills. The majority of them are gonna be closer to that Northeast Heights. So on the flip side, the North, the on the flip side, the foothills is gonna offer a ton of value as well, even if you have a family, because it is gonna be a little bit quieter. They actually have an ordinance where there's very little street lights and you can't actually have super bright lights because it obstructs from the view at night. And I don't know if that's true or not, but I actually heard that somewhere down the grapevine from somebody that actually lived there. And when I drove through the neighborhoods at night, it was super dark and some of the lights were super dim and they said that you can actually get fined if you have super bright LED lights, even for like security purposes on your house. So they are gonna be a little bit more strict because that's the whole purpose of living out there, right? Is enjoying the nature, the scenery and the landscape. There is still gonna be some amenities here and there. And then of course, traveling through tramway, it's like a mini freeway at this point. Um, and it connects the south and the west of Albuquerque very beautifully on that side of town. So a couple of things there and differences, whether you're looking in a certain price range or looking for a certain type of house, if you're looking for something that's 2,000 square feet and above and you want to have some pretty ample space around you from your neighbors, Foothills is going to be the area. 
you're looking for something under that in price range and you don't mind having some proximity from your neighbors and you want to be closer to all those amenities and all those different things to do then the northeast heist is going to be it for you guys but we really need to get on that call to discover that now if you guys made it this far into the video i gotta say thank you for hanging tight and just listening to me ramble off about the east side and why it could be beneficial to you guys and a couple of reasons why you might want to consider that whether it's looking for something that is a little bit more affordable you want some proximity to some urban amenities or you just want to be close to the mountains this area is going to be something worth considering now there is some other neighborhoods that we didn't get a chance to talk about in this video like Tanawan, Mountain Run, and Sandia Heights. And if you are curious to know about these areas, that number popping up on the screen is my direct line. And as much as I love to do this, guys, I would love to help you out with your real estate needs. So hit us up. Let us know what we can do for you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification bell down at the bottom. That way you guys never miss out on any videos. And don't forget to download your free relocation guide. And it's down there in the description, guys. We'll catch you guys next week. Have a good one. Peace.